Hi and welcome back to the poetry series. We are in episode 13. It's amazing to me that I am still doing this. Today is going to be quite short and sweet. We're short, you can decide if it's sweet. Tomorrow I'm hoping if I can pluck up the courage I will be telling a story through a poem that's quite tough for me to talk about. So today's a bit of um, a breather. So this poem is called Earthly Happenings. It was written around the same time that I wrote Toronto Trees. So you might be able to hear some of the common themes or images or ideas. So this is Earthly Happenings. The remembered and the discovered intersect. What was once familiar became alien. Time and effort changes engagement, modes of engagement affect results. I move in spheres. I am shaped like earth, my body a landscape. Oceans, lakes, rivers, continents, and islands. Have you read the news today? I am marker on thin paper. When I scribble myself down, the mirror side of my image shows through faint shadows over here. I do not try to see the other side. It would be effort not to see. Rain is to the planet what water is to the body, necessary in beautiful balance, dangerous in excess or absence. The ink shows through. It may be art, it may be nuisance, it may be accident. They're talking advanced democracy and I'm stippling. We all drink Canadian roasted coffee grown elsewhere. Where? Loneliness is a state of being qualified. The only true state is being. These little musings are only words in a language. Lessons integrated, not by tellings, but by happenings. So that's it for today. More tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a very relaxed day for me, so I hopefully will pluck up the courage to delve back into the, the deep, difficult stuff.